Isaiah chapter 53. What do you mean from verse 3? Isaiah 53 verse 3. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And we did a seat one, we hid our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not surely. Everybody says surely. That means certainly, 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 without a shadow of doubt. There's no doubt in your mind, Christ died for you. And Christ sacrificed for you so that your sins can be forgiven. And so that your sicknesses can be healed. And what a wonderful this thing this morning to discover that salvation is for everyone. And healing is for everyone. Because there's a surety that precedes, that comes along for that provision of the Lord. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. He has carried your sorrows away. I said he carried your sorrows away. Why are you going to be carrying it again? You look at somebody's face and the way the face is, you say, my brother, are you carrying something on your back, in your mind, in your heart? Are you carrying something? You look at a married sister, and maybe there is no child yet, but the child, miracle child, has come this morning. And then you look at the sister as she's going in the retreat. You say, my sister, I look at your face. Are you carrying something? Oh, she says, I'm carrying a lot of sorrows. Drop your sorrows down this morning. Jesus Christ has carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, speaking of God and afflicted, but he was wounded by our transgressions. He was bruised by our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, with his stripes, we are. Heal. Let's see the interpretation of that in Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8, verse 16. When the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. All the demon possessed people that are brought to this retreat here and anywhere, I declare unto you, they are delivered in Jesus' name. That is what Jesus came to do. That is what Jesus came to provide. And that is in fulfillment of the pronouncement, the proclamation, the prophecy of Isaiah. And it says when the evening was come, convincing and interpreting of what Isaiah had prophesied and proclaimed. When that evening was come, it brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with what? With what? with this word. As you are hearing the word and the word is coming your way this day, all those manifestations and all those operations and all those manoeuvres and all those things, the devil is trying to do in your life, in your family, they are cast out in Jesus' name. And he healed all that was seen in verse 17, that it might be fulfilled. That it might be fulfilled, that which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. He carried away our sicknesses, and thank God they are gone. In First Peter chapter 2, First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, who is so self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness. 
sinfulness is gone, righteousness has taken its place. Now you can live a righteous life. You're free. You are clean, but you. Your yoke is broken. And that sin that was ticking of your life, and the sin that will not let you go and live a happy life, a holy life, and heavenly life, that sin cleaving unto you, sin, I will not allow you to live a victorious life. All that sin is broken and taken away. Christ died for us on the cross of Calvary, that we will be able to live a righteous, holy, victorious life that has dominion. And then, by whose stripes? Tell me the rest. You are healed. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. You are healed. Psalm 107. 107. Psalm 107. We're looking at verse 20 there, Psalm 107, verse 20. He sent his word and healed them. He sent his word and did what? And that's why the word is coming to you today. The Lord is sending the word of power into your life today. The word of healing into your body today. The word of deliverance in your life, in your family today. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. That thing that is trying to destroy your joy and destroy your health and destroy your happiness and destroy the goodness of God in your life. He sent his word unto them and he destroyed all their destructions. He took away all their destructions. And this morning, that miracle, that blessing, that healing, that salvation, that forgiveness, that righteousness, and that healing is yours in Jesus' name. That's why all you need is the word which is coming to you now. And the word that is sent to you will produce a miracle in your life in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 8 verse 8. Matthew chapter 8 verse 8. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only. Everybody say, speak the word only. Do you understand that the word without holy water, the word only, the word without holy oil, the word only, the word without a match on the ground, the word only, the word without anybody pushing you down, the word only, the word without anybody laying hands on you, send the word. He sent his word and he healed them, the word without burning candle, the word, the word only, the word without burning incense, the word only, the word without the picture of a religious leader, the word only, speak the word and the word is coming to you now. And I speak this word of healing, it's your life, it's your family this morning, you are healed in Jesus' name. Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. The Lord has opened your eyes. I said the Lord has opened your eyes. Now you know the hidden treasure that belongs to you. Now that the Lord has opened your eyes, you will open your mouth. Everything you declared this morning for your life is confirmed in Jesus' name. Psalm 81 verse 10. Psalm 81 verse 10. And what you will do, this is very important. This is the secret of your victory. You have the victory already. Psalm 81 verse 10. I am the Lord Who's God? Thy God. This is your God. The, heaven, the creator of the heavens and earth is your God. 
the great physician, the healer, he is your God. The great savior, he is your God. The one that never fails, that never lost a battle, he is your God. The one that fights all the Philistines and the Amalekites and he conquers them, he is your God. The one that delivers the oppressed, he is your God. He says, I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth wide and I will feel it. What do you need this morning? What do you want this morning? When you open your mouth and say this, 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 it doesn't matter how large, how big, how great, what you are looking for, the Lord will give you this morning. You have a testimony this morning. I said you have a testimony this morning, and the Lord will affirm it and confirm it in your life in Jesus' name. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Heaven is ready for you. God is ready for you. All the angels are ready. The Lord Jesus Christ is ready. The Holy Ghost is ready. And the Word of God has provided everything. If you are ready, you get up, you stand up, and you open your mouth wide and say, Lord, here am I today. You have given me these great blessings, untold blessings, indescribable blessings, and they are mine, and they are mine, and they are mine, and they are mine. Everything you say. Everything you say, everything you say, everything you say in prayer, open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. The Lord has opened your eyes. He has made you to see. He has made you to understand. The provision of the Lord is available. Yes, it's available. The Lord has made you to see. It was very nearby. The healing is nearby. The deliverance is nearby. The provision is nearby. The miracle child is nearby. The victory is nearby. And the joy of the Lord is nearby. And the provision of the Lord is nearby. The riches of the kingdom is nearby. The wealth of the kingdom nearby. The treasure, the hidden treasure nearby. And the Lord is saying, open your mouth wide and I will feel it. What a good morning, what a great morning, what a glorious morning. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Miracle, very near. Deliverance, very near. Healing, very near. Miracle children, very near. Miracle husband, very near. Miracle wife, very near. Miracle job, very near. Miracle provision, very near. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Have you not seen it? He has opened your eyes. There's no ignorance again. The Lord has revealed to you all that He has and all that you possess. It is yours. It is yours. It is yours. Open your mouth wide and I, the Almighty God, the one that promises and never, never, never fails. Then he says, and I will feel, feel your house, feel your home, feel your life, feel your business with all the provision, all the treasures of heaven. It's here, it's here, it's here for you. Open your mouth wide. Tell the Lord what you need. Tell the Lord why you are here. You need forgiveness? It's there. It's there. Why should you suffer under guilt, under condemnation, when forgiveness is there? Eternal life is very close by. Salvation is very close by. The joy of salvation, the triumph, the victory in salvation is very nearby. Forgiveness is very nearby. Life and life more abundant very much nearby and the Lord is yours saying it is yours it is yours it is yours you can open your mouth wide and the Lord will feel it miracles very near healing 
very near deliverance, very near position, very near children, very near and a wife from the Lord, very near a good husband from the Lord, very near an open door breakthrough, very near success, very near no defeat again, no sorrow again, no heartache again. The Lord is saying, Open your mouth wide, and I will finish. This is your day. This is your chance. The Lord Himself has come down in a mighty way to bless your life, to enrich your life. And the Lord is saying, Tell me what you need. Tell me what you need. Tell me what you need. Open your mouth wide. Open your mouth wide. Open your mouth wide. And I will feel it. Tell him as much as you need. Spiritual victory. Domestic victory. All that fire born in your family. The Lord will quench it and put it out. All the powers of darkness, which in war against your life, against your family, the Lord will quench and destroy. All the oppression, all the affliction, all the attack, the Lord will eradicate, wipe it out. Open your mouth wide and I will finish. That's his promise. He cannot fail. He will not fail. He said, If thou, then I will. If thou, then I will. We rejoice in the fact that God is a faithful God, is a mighty God, is a powerful God, is a God that changes not, a God of all power, a God of all possibilities. He has invited you here to bless you, and He said, If thou wilt do this, then I will give you all the mighty, manifold blessings, miracles you expect from the Lord. If thou wilt, then I will. If thou wilt, then I will. If thou wilt, then I will. Is there? Is there? You must see it. It's there. As God opens your eyes, it's there. Yes, it's there. Reach out and touch it. Reach out and take it. Reach out and possess it. It's yours. It's there. What eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, what has not entered into the into the heart of man, all that the Lord has provided for them that love Him, and now it's revealed, and now it's revealed, and now it is revealed by His Spirit, the deep, great mighty things of God. Now it is revealed. Reach out and touch it. Reach out and take it. Reach out and receive it. It is yours. Mighty blessing. Mighty miracle. Mighty healing. Mighty deliverance, mighty outpouring that the Lord Himself has provided. Now your eyes are open. Now your mind can understand. 
Now your heart can receive the great, 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 mighty blessings He has provided. It's yours. Yes, it's yours. What a glorious day. What a wonderful time that now you can receive this mighty, great, innumerable, uncountable blessings of the Lord for your life. In Jesus' name we pray. And the believing, trusting, confident people of God said, This morning is the morning of your joy, the morning of your healing, the morning of your deliverance, the morning of your miracle. I have it, you have it, we have it in Jesus' name. Have your eyes been opened? I said, Have your eyes been opened? Has your heart been opened? Do you know what belongs to you already? Do you know that healing belongs to you? Do you know that take belongs to you? Do you know that power belongs to you? Do you know that impossibilities are possible right now? For you and your children, for you and your wife, for you and your husband, and for you and everybody around you, this is the day of your miracle. You have got it in Jesus' name. You raise up your hand now, reach out and touch, reach out and take, reach out and receive, it is yours in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because we are not blind anymore. We thank you because we are not ignorant anymore. Now we know what you are provided. And we know what we possess. Lord, we we'll reach out now and we we'll receive in Jesus' name. Lord, the provision of eternal life, the provision of salvation, the provision of forgiveness, the provision of redemption, the provision of reconciliation with the Almighty God, as many as have been far away from God and you're feeling the guilt. And the condemnation of sin. I pray right now you forgive all their sins. Wipe away all their guilt, all their condemnation in Jesus' name. Open their eyes, the eyes of their understanding for them to know all their sins have been forgiven. All the condemnation has been